who can't get a seat. Phantom of the Opera, Miss Saigon, the Eric Clapton concert, and Arsenal versus Leeds, part three. And as the house full notices go up, several well-known names reappear on the programme. For Arsenal, central defenders Steve Bold and David O'Leary both return after injury. Terry Groves, who missed the first replay, is also there, so it's the Arsenal side that drew nil-nil in the first game two and a half weeks ago. Well, while Arsenal have had 11 days rest, Leeds played only three days ago in the Rumbelows Cup semi-final. And tonight they have David Batty back after a two-match suspension at number four, and the other change is at number eight, where Carl Schutt returns after going off with a hamstring injury in the first match here. Howard King from Merthyr gets this second replay started, and what a fabulous job Steve Braddock, the Arsenal groundsman, and his staff have done here at Highbury, not just with this perfect playing pitch, but also with the surrounding areas where they've been working so hard for the last 48 hours to make sure the match goes ahead. Groves, in low, handball appeals. Referee says no, Davis for Arsenal, deflected, corner. They thought there was a hand in there. But Howard King saw nothing wrong, and Dixon pressing forward with the attack had Arsenal in a good position straight away. It may just have kicked up and hit a hand. It was a bit hidden from us there, but certainly as uh, Merson turned... Oh, just close to the post. How close? From here it was hard to see. But David Seaman's touch, which took the ball out for a corner, was a most important save. And to Groves, Winterburn over on the left for Arsenal. And on this side, Paul Davis. But it was Chris White who tucked it back. And that's a very good save by England's David Seaman. And Perry Groves is hurt there. Uh, Haddock came across to challenge him and he fell awkwardly, the Arsenal number six. On but offside. Offside, Chris White put the ball in the net, flicked onto him by shut, and the linesman on the near side, Brian Baker, had his flag up for offside on the flick on. Dixon for Arsenal, Merson. Good cross, Chatton's there, away by Winterburn. Haddock, oh, again, shut. Too long. He was onside, though. Merson. Chris White. Now, can they stay onside? And the answer is yes. It's Carl Schutt for Leeds. David Seaman guessed right and makes his second vital save of the first half. Smith's with him as well. And Fairclough almost gave that back to Groves. And in time added on for the Groves injury, Arsenal have a corner, having just come close to conceding at the other end. Leeds need their wits about them here, it's going to be curled in. There's Bold. Here's Smith. Strachan to McAllister, away by Dixon. But they packed the penalty area, Leeds. And they'll want Batty to get length on the throw. Chris White is up there. And Bold concedes the corner. Shuts up with Fairclough. Arsenal get the ball out to Davis. And now on this side of the pitch, two great runs if you can see them. But it's too late because it's half-time. And Leeds go off, perhaps feeling that they, if anybody, should be in front. Here's Limpar. 
Paul Davis on the far header back. Arsenal captain found some space. Limpar to his left and Kevin Campbell did awfully well to get a shot in there round Chris Fairclough. It's a bold piece of play. Spot. It hit bold on the hand, you can't call that intentional. And the referee didn't. <laughs> and now it's Batty. And Shutt gets a foot in, but better still, it was Davis. Seaman takes credit for the save, obviously. Shut. Smith. Fairclough. Well, the former Arsenal player, Chris White, will have to look back on that as one of the best chances of the match, if not the best. I think it will find it's Gary Speed on the edge of the box who hits the first shot here. And when it came to White, he was onside, tried to do it that way, and then that way, and a good save. Outside, handball, Mel Sterling, penalty. He can't believe it, but Howard King had no doubt, and neither did the linesman. Mel Sterling penalised, consoled there by Campbell, but here's the run by Winterburn. And look where his arm is. If his arm's out there, he can't complain. That's a penalty. And Lee Dixon, who's taken four penalties for Arsenal this season and scored them all, now takes on an onerous responsibility. In front of the North Bank, packed with Arsenal fans, what could this kick mean? It won't help the nerve of the kicker to have the ball replaced by the referee. I did say that. Sterling is relieved, and I think the delay got to Dixon. Here comes Campbell. It's Kevin Campbell for Arsenal, side netting. Well, it was Strachan who will be most relieved because he played the ball into Limpar, and it was Smith who was given offside. Dixon. Now they're on side here, it's Kevin Campbell. Good save, Lukic. Limpar against Sterling. Well, they did beat the offside trap there, and I'd have had no sympathy for Leeds if they'd scored. Because so often defenders have pushed up tonight on both sides, I have to say. And it hasn't been attractive when they have. Limpar. It flicked off a Leeds head there, it's a corner. Bowl goes in, header there, Mercer's got a touch. Back again to Davis for Arsenal, they're still packed in there. Good cross, oh, was he pulled back? No, I don't think so, it's Limpar anyway, it was Bold who nearly got it. Limpar, Batty, Winterburn, this is an exciting spell by Arsenal. Corner again. Couldn't quite see how they got it out, but uh, Merson's on the line now. Chapman. Sterling. Went to burn to take it. Davison. Wasn't a bad turn at all. Strachan, they've got two runners on the left, Leeds. Good position for them here. Chapman, three the other way. They're outnumbering Arsenal just for a moment. Chapman's cross, onside, Gordon Strachan. Can he square it? Good save by the keeper. And Strachan back in again, and Seaman is having an exceptional night for Arsenal. Well, here, definitely, there was a man over, and how well Lee Chapman did to find him. It's Strachan. Davison is square, hoping for a pass. Strachan shot, Seaman save. The 
by Kevin Campbell for Arsenal. And he just showed a bit too much of it to Lukic, who gets all the credit again. Second time he's done that to Campbell. He had Thomas in support as well, it should be said. And here's McAllister for Leeds. Now, can they stay on side? Strachan, outside him, Sterling. Chapman coming in from the far side. And the Arsenal fans, uh, Paul Merson on the far side, and the other Paul Davis is forward. So is Campbell on this side, and Campbell again. Thomas! Straight at the goalkeeper from Michael Thomas. Well, Lukic didn't really have to move then. And good ball! This is Merson! Oh, what a poor finish! And he would know that better than anybody. That required something better from a player